All right, so we got a aluminum brick case, which is not for bricks, but for a Raspberry Pi 4. And uh, this is from Geek Pie. So I have like a plastic case with a regular type fan. This one uh, is supposed to be uh, controllable. So depending on the temperature, it will change the speed of the fan. So um, interested to see that. I think there's going to be a better case for that purpose. And uh, again, the one I have is just kind of cheap plastic. This is supposed to be metal. And... Appears to be metal. So, um, lightweight, I guess, aluminum would be my guess, and the aluminum brick case. Um, got a, that is not metal, so an acrylic type uh, cover on there, and a uh, little screwdriver standoff things, Allen screw to do all this mounting on here, and I'll assume this is going to be our fan and heat sink. So another thing that should be nice here is the uh, heat sink on there. My other one just has a fan on the case. Um, so this, uh, I think, ought to work a whole ton better. So I will look through the instructions and get it all hooked up and see how it works. So it also contains how to configure your Raspberry Pi to use the uh, pulse width modulation on the fan to control the speed. So I will look through all this and uh, figure that all out. All right, so I am starting to uh, do the assembly uh, per the instructions here. And uh, one thing I realized is the case I had before had given me these wonderful little um, heat sinks. So they all had to come off. And as you look at the bottom of the fan, so it's got sort of uh, pieces here to fit on these guys. This one does not, and they, I guess, um, not sure why they gave the extra um, little pink thingies here, but I guess we're not supposed to use those. So I put that one on there. Uh, I did put these two standoffs down here because it appears that we don't need those. But what you need to do is, and I'm trying to figure out which way this fan wire is supposed to go. And I think it's like that. Um, so we should be able to get this guy on here and put these standoffs and connect them right onto there. So that looks to be it. So um, I will probably fast forward through this part because um, my fingers are not the best and this may take a little while to do. So this is So this is pretty secure. So these guys get the um, nuts on there and over there. So we're supposed to end up with something that looks, I think, like that and like that. So I think we're good. Uh, the next step they talk about connecting the red and black wires, and so. The uh, pie here, don't like where that went. Um, so we got two positive five volts. So they have in their diagram, they're connecting to the second. And then the next is ground. And then this is 14. So red, black, blue, hopefully pressed on well enough there. And that should now match their diagram if I spin it around that way. So there we go. That is that. And then we can, uh, it's just pretty much easy assembly is matching this up to the correct side here. 
course. And, uh, then using the uh, flat, they call them flat head, but they're, I mean, they are a flat head, but they're really Phillips. And they give you a itty bitty Phillips uh, screwdriver here. So put each of those in. Uh, good bit of air gap in there to there you can see now air in here can move through uh, okay get to the SD slot there that's a good thing uh, I'm just gonna bend those over because I don't really need those at the moment and, uh, and so we did the plate there now we can peel off the acrylic top cover and uh, Fasten it on there with the uh, comes with some hex screws. I'm not sure why they're different than the bottom, but uh, and it does come with extras here, um, so more than you need. So let me skip through doing this because I always hate peeling these things off the uh, acrylics. All right, so I got the uh, cover off the acrylic and just tightening in the. Uh, Hex head. I give you the little Allen key to do this, and then there's some rubber feet for the bottom. And uh, there we go. So, uh, have to look and see how that how those wires are in there. I'm not sure if they're going to be in the way of anything. I probably can just do this and pull them a little bit out of the way. I don't want them getting tangled in the fan and all that there. So there we go. So if you need to be playing with the GPIO, you got to pull the cover off. Uh, but otherwise, the uh, connectors are exposed here. over there of course so uh, then the uh, feet just sticky taped uh, strips here so I like that a lot better than just having uh, and this is gonna actually cover up our screws so if you need to uh, take your pie out of the case you're gonna have to redo the strip which I did not get that on very straight uh, so next step, we'll be looking at the uh, the uh, tweaking the um, system to uh, use the uh, pulse, pulse width modulation to run the fan more when it's hot and run it less when it's not so hot. So I will um, fire that up and take a look at that. So, oh man, having a not straight kind of day. So... Um, there we go. So nice and solid. Very happy with that so far. So now let's uh, play with the operating system. So as it booted up, it turned the uh, fan off. Now I just need to see if I can figure out the uh, board temperature and see if I can warm it up and get it to automatically kick back on. <laughs> 